Hi, kids, and welcome to Veggie Tales. I'm Bob the Tomato. Uh, I'm Bob the Tomato. Larry! Just a minute! Are you okay? I'll be right there. Whoa, excuse me. Oh, uh, Larry? Yeah, Bob? Over here. Oh, yeah? Um, have you been cooking? What? Oh, you noticed my new hat. Your hat? Yeah, isn't it the coolest? Um, Larry, you've got an oven mitt on your head. Oh, yes, they're all the rage. Simply everyone is wearing them. Really? Well, all the cool people anyway. Yep, but you can't see where you're going. Isn't that a little dangerous? Fashion has its price. Larry, he almost fell into a toaster back there. Oh, Bob, Bob, Bob. Don't you read Veggie Beat magazine? This is a look. Without this oven mitt on my head, I just wouldn't be cool. I see. Hey, that reminds me of a letter we just got from Dexter Wilmington of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Oh, yeah, don't say. I do. Now, Dexter says that sometimes when he's at his friend Billy's house, Billy wants to watch this TV show that Dexter's not supposed to watch. Now, Dexter knows that it's a bad show, but Billy says that if he doesn't watch it, it means he's not cool. What should he do? Oh, what a pickle. You know, Bob. Over here, Larry. You know, Bob. I think we need Cordy for this one. I'll be right back. Um, Larry, watch out for the... <laughs> sink. Ouch. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Today, Larry and Bob are on a photo safari, hot on the trail of a monkey. Or an ape. We don't know which. Hence the song. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. Even if it has a monkey kind of shape. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. Let's see if we can catch it on the tape. You can very plainly see if it's a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. Look, there it goes. There it goes. I don't know. I can't tell if it's a monkey or an ape. It's very simple, Bob. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. Oh, uh, Larry, I'm not so sure. Ooga booga, it's not a monkey. Ooga booga, maybe it's an ape. <laughs> if it's a nickel or a salad or a pillow, if it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. <laughs> If it doesn't have a tail... Not a monkey. Are you sure that's what you really mean to say? A, a camera has no tail. It's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. Huh. I think there's something wrong with your logic, Larry. Well, Bob, the lady at the zoo said it. And who am I to tell her that she's wrong? If there's a tail, it's a monkey. No tail, ape. It's easy. But, Larry, a kite has a tail. Then it's a monkey. A comet has a tail. It's a monkey. A bubble doesn't. Then it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape? Exactly. I knew you'd catch on. Larry, we might need to talk about this. I don't think the lady at the zoo meant... Look, there it goes in the trees. Follow me. It's got to be a monkey or an ape. I can't believe it's true. All this time I've searched for you. Snap the picture. Take the shot. We're among the lucky few. We finally did it. Photographer, we've discovered what we're after. Let me look. Is it an ape? Larry, this is a disaster. <gasps> it's a monkey. <clears throat> uh, Larry, uh, that's a cow. Uh, not that a... was exhilarating. Let's find more. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. Even if it has a monkey kind of shape. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. This has been Silly Songs with Larry. Tune in next time to hear Bob say... Oh, Larry, you don't have a tail. I don't? Nope, and neither do I. I wouldn't be so sure about that, Bob. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, nothing. Well, what did you think of the story? Oh, my goodness. That was amazing. Dave was just a teeny little guy, but he beat Goliath, who was the biggest, strongest guy they'd ever seen. Oh, my. I laughed. I cried. It moved me, Bob. Well, good. It's time to talk about... It's time to talk about what we learned today. Uh, Bob, why are you whispering? Because whenever I say that, that song plays. What song, Bob? You know, the What Have We Learned song. 
Oh, you mean the song that plays every time you say, and now it's time to talk about what we've learned today? And so what we have learned applies to our lives today. And God has a lot to say in his book. Yep, that's the one. Kind of catchy, isn't it? You see, we know that God's word is for everyone. And now that our song is done, we'll take a look. It's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. Laddie will be performing the traditional Argentinian ballad, The Dance of the Cucumber, in its original Spanish. Bob the Tomato will translate. Miren al pepino, Watch the bien cucumber. como se mueve, how he moves. como un león, like a lion. tras un ratón. Chasing a mouse. Miren al pepino, Watch the cucumber. que suave es oh, movimiento, smooth his motion. es como mentequilla like en un chango pelón. Bald monkey. Miren al pepino, Watch the cucumber. los vegetales, enviren a su amigo their como él quiere bailar, pepino bailarín, dancing cucumber. Pepino bailarín, dancing cucumber. Pepino bailarín, dancing cucumber. Baila, baila dance, ya. dance, yeah. Miren el tomate. Look at the tomato. No es triste. Isn't it sad? Él no puede bailar. He can't dance. Pobre tomate. Poor tomato. Él desearía poder bailar como el pepino. He wishes he could dance like the cucumber. Libre y suavemente. Free and smooth. Pero no puede danzar. But he, he can't. Okay, stop the music. What do you mean I can't dance? I can dance? Well, what about Uncle Louie's polka party? Didn't you see me dancing at Uncle Louie's polka party? No comprendo. No comprendo? I'll show you no comprendo! Mom! Dad! Look over here! Get a picture of me next to the cucumber in authentic Argentinian garb! Okay, Junior. But we better hurry. I think the dwarves have your mother confused with someone else. <laughs> Say peas. Peas. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Oigan su voz fuerte. Como un león. Like a lion. Listo a devorar. About to eat. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Que dulce es su canto. How sweet his voice. Que sorpo su garganta. Parece like un chorus of little birds. Escuchen al Listen pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Los vegetales inviten a su amigo como él quiere cantar. Pepino cantador, pepino cantador, pepino cantador, cucumber, canta, canta ya. Yeah. Escuchen al tomate. Listen to the tomato. No es triste. Isn't it sad? Él no puede cantar. He can't sing. Pobre tomate. Poor tomato. Él desearía poder cantar. He wishes he could sing. Fuerte y dulce como el pepino. Strong and sweet like the cucumber. Pero no puede. But he can't. Ni siquiera da un sorbido. Can't even whistle. All right, that's it, señor. Come over here and let me sing you a song. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie sing. Bob is really angry. I hope he doesn't catch me. It's so hard to run with the sombrero on my head. Oh, you're back. Well, I still haven't been able to get Larry out of the sink. I want to get out, Bob. But it's time now to talk about what we've learned today. And so what we have learned applies to our lives today, and God has a lot to say in his book. Larry, you know how I feel about that song. You see, we know that God's word is for everyone, and now that our song is done, we'll take a... Hey! That's cold! As I was saying, it's time to talk about what we've learned today. Right, Larry? I'm wet. Right. Well, Rack Shack and Benny learned that standing up for what they believed in was pretty hard, but it was worth it. When all their friends were doing things that were wrong, Rack Shack and Benny remembered what their parents had taught them, and that God wanted them to do what was right. In the end, God was protecting them, even in the fiery furnace. What did you learn, Larry? Well, I learned that doing something that you know isn't such a good idea, just to be cool, isn't very cool. I put an oven mitt on my head just because Veggie Beat Magazine said it would make me cool, even though I couldn't see anything. It didn't make me cool. It made me, it made me bump into a toaster. 
and then fall into the sink. You know, I can't get out of here. I'm going to be stuck here forever. And people are going to set plates on my head. And I'm never going to get to go to the circus or run through the fresh cut grass or feel the ocean breathe in my hair as I pilot my nibble schooner Felix off the coast of our family home at Kitty Bunkport. <gasps> oh, Auntie M, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. Click, click, click. Are you finished? Yeah. Okay, Larry, do you see that spoon over there? Uh-huh. If you stand on that end of it, and I jump onto the other end, it'll fling you out of there, okay? Okay. This'll just take a second. I'm ready. Okay, here I come. Oh, that's much better. Thank you, Bob. Bob? Bob? I'm in here, Larry.